Chester, do you mind doing the roll call? Here. Here. I would like to take a moment of silence for a few uh, Marion County folks. Uh, Mr. Clayton Bradshaw, Mr. Butch Blayton, Mrs. Wiltshire, Kenny Young, and Mrs. Ruth Holman. Congratulate uh, Judy Blackwell to be the first female manager in Mary County. I intend to make everybody proud of me too. Thank you, Judy. And we've got another note here. We got a birthday over here, Jack Fogle. <laughs> 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 And what a blessing to have Craig Bishop with us today. Oh my goodness, yes. So, uh, getting on with business now. The first, uh, the first item on the agenda is to consider approval minutes of previous meeting held Thursday, October 17, 2019. Motion to accept the minutes. Second. Yes. 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 Uh, I'm going to jump around a little bit. We've got a couple of special guests here tonight that uh, uh, Mr. Pat Ford, the new economic development director, is here with us. He just wants to introduce himself and uh, tell who he is a little bit about himself. Hello, I'm Pat Ford, the new economic development director. I really appreciate the introduction, the opportunity to speak to you all. I've, I've been taking my time to, to really familiarize myself with the community and uh, go to all parts of the county and I'd really like to follow up with each one of you and uh, meet with you in your in your own district and find out what your needs are what your thoughts are and also quite frankly to, to become very familiar with the area to see what we can do at the foundation to help you all out uh, the judge has been very kind enough to I'm still learning the areas we've been out to Raywick we've been out to Calvary <laughs> we've been out to Loretto, and uh, we just out to Bradfordsville last last week. Uh, but again, there's 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 a lot of opportunity. It's a big area, and uh, I would really like if I could just uh, pass out my business cards. It has my cell phone number, and as your schedules permit, uh, morning, noon, night. Uh, I really don't sleep that much, so anytime that's convenient for you all, I would love to come out there and meet with you to learn more about your area and what we might be able to do to assist you. Right, Stop right. by the county jail, then center to a one warehouse row. You owe me that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He uh, promised that. He promised that one. So that's right. coming on. Just, just we always got a story down there to tell. Exactly. Just don't have the sheriff bring you. The yeah, don't come through 117. <laughs> you go do 117. It's not gonna be a good day. Jimmy's bringing you to 17. It's not good. <laughs> Make sure he has a pass on the way to get back out. Thank you, sir. You feel great. Doing great. Pretty well done. Mm -hmm. He's kind of working hard, too. You know that. Thank you, sir. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Thank you. Judge, thank you. Thank you. Just hang here and hang around. All right. <laughs> Back to the agenda, we have Sam Bach with Intercounty RECC is with us today to request funding for Christmas Blessings Incorporated at 501c3. The group focuses on gifts and food for the needy in Marion County. Sam, if you want. Thank you all for letting me come speak. Um, of course, everybody knows I'm in United Way and Chamber and Ham Days, but this one right here tugs at my heartstrings because I have actually been able to deliver to some of these families that have been recipients and when you deliver to a house and it's cold and you're you know you're it's raining and you're cold and you go there and you see kids and they're running around and they're barefoot and you go in and they're basically they're having a, they have a dark floor 
um, we don't realize in our lives and what we do that there's families in our county that live like this and it really it hurts to see you know how some of our, our community members are forced to live and they're doing the best they can and these are the people that won't ask for help you know I work for inner county and we get people they go to community action and they hassle us and try to get us to lie for them because they just won't work. And then you see these people who won't ask for help. And this year I really struggled even finding families through the resource centers at the school because for, they, they're not asking for help. Um, they're, we were just kind of at a loss. Uh, there were just not a lot of need of people asking. So um, I went through community action and found a couple of families but I can possibly, with help from you all, help another family. So I'll give you a quick background. We, the Intercounty employees started this in 2008. That first year we raised um, a little less than $1,000. So we helped a few families. Um, and through the years this has grown, we have actually since then have um, raised over $32,500. We have helped 87 families have Christmas. This is a full Christmas dinner, some extra food, um, and gifts for the kids. I had a 249 kids got their Santa wish list. And when I say they got their Santa wish list, if it's within reason, they got it. We've done tablets, bicycles, iPods. If it's something that's in our budget that we can do and it's on that list, we try to get everything on that list. And we've had parents say that if it hadn't been for this program, the kids would have gotten nothing for Christmas. So my goal is to try to A, raise more money so that we can help more families. Inner County has 25,000 members in uh, rural areas of 12 counties. We have six director districts, so we try to at least help a minimum of two families per director district and would like to, to help more. Now, something I want you to keep in mind, there's 63 employees at Intercounty Energy and probably 90% of the auction items are bought by employees because we were having such a difficulty getting the community members to actually go to the auction. You know, as in Marion County, it's hard. It's in Danville at the community center or in our community service room. Um, so it's hard. So when you say that we raised fifty eight hundred dollars last year, that was pretty much mostly by sixty three or less because some employees don't, you know, do it. We're supporting our own fundraiser, so that's why I don't mind asking for help because we we're doing our part to try to help. So now we're trying to enlist um, getting getting help. So one thing that I'm doing this year. Um, we have a Facebook page, it's Inner County Energy Christmas Blessings Inc. Um, and we've had that page and we've been sharing, the Chamber's going to share it. Most of the items are going to be, um, have pictures on there and anybody in Marion County that wants to donate can call my office. They can contact me, probably half of Marion County has my cell phone number, um, and tell me, hey, I want that, this is how much I'm willing to give for it, and I will watch everyone's bid and if it be your house bid. I can't go back and see if you're out bid. So I'll take everybody's house bid and if somebody wants to donate well, we can do it that way and we also are taking donations. I wouldn't stop anybody from saying hey do you want some money. So um, that's pretty much our program. I will tell you we have a barrel from Kentucky Cooperage this year. We have Cincinnati Reds tickets, Dollywood tickets, Holiday World tickets. I have a night stay at our very own Spirit on Main. Um, and that comes with a tour at Makers Mart and Kentucky Cooperage. Uh, we have UK basketball tickets <coughs> for the Utah Valley State game that I think is a week from Monday, an autograph UK basketball. And then almost every business that I went to in Marin County, and I think I have um, just myself, I think I got 52 items for our auction. So you stop thinking how many businesses and you know, places around in Marin County, that's a lot. So there's definitely a lot of really good items on the option. So again, if you all would grace, gracious enough to donate the money, I can help another family in the Marion County this year. Sam, <coughs> so are the funds that are if there's funds donated here, are they earmarked just for Marion County? If, Mary, if Marion way? County, this was my thing that I've done on my own, and if you all donate money, this will be for Marion County families. So they would be. You know, with the other we, I would make sure that this money was spent on extra Marion County families. Okay, so it would be your one. Yes, yes, yes. Because um, 
if the other you know county fiscal courts want to donate, then they can earmark that. This is my thing for my community, and it would be earmarked for Marion County. Yes. Anybody else have any questions? Is there a I know we're going to play, but is there a, like you have to get stuff before Christmas? Is this something? The employees, there's about one, two, four, five of us. There's, I think, seven on our committee. Of course, we're not going to make the need go shopping. But <laughs> we, we actually do. We actually, um, there are shoes and coats that it's, we've got it down to a science mm -hmm. that go on sale the week before Christmas. Um, most of the electronics and things that we can find on Black Friday, all Black Friday, though it Cyber Monday, and then that following week, if we catch everything that we can that's on sale, and like I said, we have it down to a science. And then the day before we deliver is grocery day, yeah. and we go shopping for groceries. So um, it's it's a big project, but it's it's down on a schedule. It, we've been doing it for so long that it's just kind of easy to do. But we get everything on sale. We're definitely <laughs> at, at the cheapest we can get it. And that's why we're able to take that same list and try to get everything on it. So, anybody else have any questions? Well, thank you very, very much for your time. And anytime anybody has any questions or everybody has some fun. Thank you very much. That's a good job. Glad y'all are doing this. You used to when we had a phone company. Years ago, we had a real phone company. They did the same thing. They uh, every business they take up and find any families in every county that had. One thing I left out is talking about the employees do it. We also have employee deductions. Some people have so much taken out of their paycheck, mm -hmm. um, every paycheck that goes into that fund as well. That's good because uh, like a lot of the companies that's one thing with Air County. I mean, I know you know people argue over the rates, which we're the same as Katie now, by the way. But um, we we want to stay in the community. That's our thing. You know, I mean, everybody knows that it's hard to get in touch with KU sometimes, and we want to stay local. We want to give back to our communities. And Jerry Carter, our you know CEO, is two years in now. He is very very big on community service and wants to see employees out there doing their part. I worked in the elementary schools and I've been in some of those homes. Yes, it's heartbreaking. Where you wonder yes. how they do it. Well, I was the first family I ever delivered to, it's a wonder I ever delivered again because it was a drug situation and the mom was so far gone, I don't really know how she took care of anything. And these two teenage boys were living in this house and people would bring them food and the food was left out on the table in the summer. And there was every critter on the planet just all over the tables and the counters. And I'm, as a social worker, I said, why? Why are these kids still in this home? Her answer was that they were old enough to take care of themselves and better off there than where they would be sent to. And I mean, that just, it opens your eyes. We're definitely, you know, we, we definitely problems that I mean we can't solve them all, but we can do our part to help. Good job. Thank you. Thanks. We like to take some project funds, money out of mine for hundred bucks. Well, I do a hundred as well. I've got to do two hundred. I brought like two hundred also. Two hundred. It's a good cause. Thank you all very much. Second. <coughs> yes. 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 Skip item four for right now, and we go to item number five, uh, which is consider approval of an intrepid home health care proclamation for planning November as home health care and hospice month. We've got a group of ladies here with us today that do something for people every day that's uh, <coughs> a very tough situation as well. I don't know if my dad went to hospice, and I think everybody here has been touched by, by hospice sometime in their life. And if they have it, it's a great program. I mean, it's uh, these folks do a fantastic job every day. And, uh, 
and they really have families that are, are facing some <coughs> tough situations. So uh, we're going to proclaim home November as Home Care and Hospice Month, uh, whereas the Home Care and Hospice community honors millions of nurses, home care aides, therapists, and social workers who make a remarkable difference for the patients and families they serve. And whereas those heroic caregivers play a central role in our health care system and homes across the nation. Across the nation. And whereas within 10,000 Americans turn 65 every day, the need for health care will continue to rise and costs will continue to skyrocket. And whereas the cost of home care is a fraction of that of admittance to a hospital or nursing home, while also allowing many U.S. citizens to remain independent at home, enriching their lives and keeping in touch with those they love. Now, therefore, we November 2018 as Home Care and Hospice Month in Marion County. Thank you all for what you do. Thank you, ladies. Yes. And I'll make a motion to declare uh, November as Home Care and Hospice Month. Thank you all for coming. Second. Appreciate it. Yes. 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 We have another another person I'd like to take a moment of silence for. We've got Miss Terry Thomas in there with us today. Last week she lost her father, so we would like to take a moment of silence for Terry while she's Next year, Katie bar the door. 
Uh, we really want to turn it into a major event as a showcase for the community as a whole. And then what we'll be doing is we'll be telling them we'll be fulfilling our mission which is all the visitors that are out there, you need to come and see this event, this first class community for us on. So six that you're looking at is basically two in the city, two in the county, and then uh, tourism will pick up the other. So that's it's we had, we had only given, <coughs> we had given one is what we'd always give. Hey, we had given one is what we had only given in the past. That's right, we're going to do two this year. Just because been caught off guard and we're figuring it out fast and that's the situation. What do you guys what we want to do there? We say it's, if we had budget for a thousand we would have only done John so I mean it's anybody have any questions? I'll do my best to try to answer. Um, what what we when does that take place when does that take place? What time? November twenty ninth. Starts at five. Well, actually, the city police will be blocking the streets at five. Everything starts at five thirty. Parade at seven. Uh, most of the things that you'll be hearing about, I don't want you to think, oh, some of our money going for that. No, for instance, Farmers National Bank is doing a big push in their annex. Uh, they really push the Santa Claus experience up, so that when kids come in. And the enterprise is doing something as well. Uh, they're enhancing that, and that's going to involve pictures of each kid. Um, and all those will be dumped on the social media. Uh, we're getting arts involved in a number of different ways. Hundreds of black <coughs> market folks involved also. That is your question. Yeah. Uh, 5.30 is when it kicks off. Uh, it, after the parade at seven, it's been, there's kind of been a tendency that it's done. Yeah. We like to see people hang around more because we're really doing a lot to coordinate with downtown businesses, trying to put a lot of people in their stores later. Yeah. And we, uh, like I could say, we're probably the logical group to have this because we understand the dynamics of marketing and why it needs to be marketed to make them effective. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, this we were just going to do the thousand this year. Did we allocate two thousand for next year? No, we don't have this year. To this year? Yes, sir. No, we didn't budget for no. it. I'm sorry. We did not budget for two thousand. It's in our budget for one thousand. <coughs> if we had known next year, we may be able to commit to two. Understood. Thank you. Like I say, we were we were caught off guard, so we're making the pitch. Whether you can do the pitch or not, that's your financial decision. And yeah, we understand we work with numbers. Yeah, it's too. kind of caught us off guard too. Yeah. So we so work with numbers we also. Can, we can definitely do the thousand for you. That's what we've allocated, and we'll try to put in our budget next year for the two. So, motion to allocate a thousand dollars. For the heart of Kentucky community Christmas event. Second. Yes. 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 Thank you all very, very, very much. Uh, please consider that for next year because, like I say, uh, next year Katie Bar will go over this event. But you'll hear about it big time this year, too. So, And if you have any concerns about uh, Making sure this is going to be the quality event you want it to be. Contact me directly. Thank you all. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Last week, uh, Mr. Adam was not able. To, last meeting, Mr. Adam was not here to uh, able to be here to present uh, a program he's involved with, the foster program here in Marion County. That's another program that I think is. A lot of, you see a lot more foster children in our community and Mr. Adel is, is on the board and I'd like to say a few words about that as well. Well thank you, thank the court for giving me this opportunity. Uh, um, I serve on the Marion Working County Foster Children Review Board. Um, um, I started on the board about four years ago and there were six of us 
Now we're down to two. Uh, and I really, we really need uh, decent volunteers. Uh, the, the Foster Children Review Board operates within the Department of Family Services, the Juvenile Services the Administrative Office of the Courts, <laughs> located in Frankfurt. That's the whole lot, but uh, legally that's how it fits in there. Uh, and we, um, we have the, uh, the foster parent come in and we have the, uh, the biological parent come in and uh, sometimes the foster children come in. And, yeah, we were in here the other day and uh, uh, two of the children came in, uh, <laughs> uh, foster kids. And, and these foster parents, uh, they take care of these kids until the biological parent can, 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 can take over again. And our job is to make sure that they <coughs> They're probably taken care of. They're probably fed. They're probably they've got schooling taken care of. They, they get their dental taken care of, and they get their medical and uh, and their clothes. And uh, that's our job to make sure that it, that, that gets done. So, but we need help. I mean, it's just the the only other the only other person down there is the uh, is our chairperson, which is. Um, um, Myself and um, uh, Alice Cole, she, she's the third person. I'm, I'm the second in line, but I'm glad you're second in line because she's a better person than me. But um, what's the process to be to do to be able to volunteer and help? Is there? Yeah, the, the process is that you, uh, you you go to the Kentucky Courts website and you click on court programs, you click on CFCRB, Citizen Foster Care Review Board, and that, that gives you the application to fill out. <coughs> and all we're looking for is uh, someone that really cares about kids and can go on there like once a month. We meet once a month over at the courthouse and, um, and that, that's all we ask for, somebody that really cares about kids and uh, has some time and uh, we just... Uh, Need people? Yeah. That's Need people. Is there a number, we, if they have, don't know how to do it, can they, you get a number we can reach you or, or reach someone to help yeah, them with the application? Uh, or? I got some copies on the website here if they want some. Uh, They can get a hold of me on here, my code 270 Are most of these kids, are they, are they <coughs> kids, Marion County kids, or, or, or are they? Do they have a reason, I think? Do y'all know for the reason? What's that? You all know for the reason, right? You don't party. Marion County children or regional children? It's regional. So these are all children from Marion County. Okay. Or, or Washington County. Yeah. yeah. And, and the parents have to be uh, in, in the county too. And uh, so we, we don't, uh, I know they got more problems in um, Louisville than we have, but we don't we don't take care of the, the problems. Well, I appreciate it. If I got any questions, I'll try to answer them. Okay. I'll talk to some people and see if they're interested in it. Yeah, we really, really need help. Um, okay. I mean, I sit there and make decisions, and I'm the best, but I'm not always the best person to make decisions. You know, I really have five other people sitting there saying, well, this is what we, where we should go, you know. Because we, we recommend the, uh, the adoption, and whether, it's whether they should stay with these uh, foster people, maybe they're not doing their job, and, uh, and and all kinds of races are involved, you know, and all kinds of level of education, you know. You better have a lot of people involved in it. Just me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Anybody else any questions? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Well, thanks thank you for giving me the opportunity. <laughs>